In this video, we are going to discuss about the poem that is Chivi. It is in your 7th class syllabus. The poem is written by Michael Rosen. So let's begin with the video. The poem begins with the lines. Grown-ups say things like, speak up. Don't talk with your mouth full. Don't stare. Don't point. Don't pick your nose. So, in the first stanza, we see that it is the habit of the grown-ups to always counsel the youngsters. They keep instructing the child to speak up even when the child does not want to make the reply. They further advise him not to talk loudly, that he should not stare at anything. Further, the child is told not to point fingers at anybody and also never to dig his fingers in his nose. This is the first stanza of the poem. The elder people instruct the children in the way they Tell the child what to do. For example, here in the lines the poet says, sit up, have a proper posture, sit properly. The elders are instructing the children. Say please. Always say the word please. Less noise. Do not do a nuisance. Do not create disturbance. Be not so loud and noisy. Shut the door behind you. Always close the door. Don't drag your feet. Haven't you got a hanky? Take your hands out of your pockets. So the elders are directing everything to the children. Pull your socks up. Stand up straight. Say thank you. Don't interrupt. No one thinks you're funny. Take your elbows off the table. Again, these are the sets of instructions that are being given by the elders to the children or to the child. And the child has to follow all these rules which are being given to the child. Sometimes these discussions, these decisions, these instructions are very, very important and vital for the child. But the poet ends the lines of the poem with the lines can't you make your own mind up about anything after giving everything cooked all is cooked and everything is cooked everything is being spoon feeded to the child they also expect the child to have his or her own opinion or his or her own mind if you don't give space to a child how will a child have his or her own opinion. Everything is feeded. Everything is told. How will the child learn? A child should have the freedom to make his or her own decisions also. It doesn't mean that instruction is wrong or instruction is bad. But the child should also have that little freedom to understand and take up certain decisions. Because some things you need to learn and understand yourself. And sometimes the elders expect you to have your own mind. And this is how the poet ends the lines of the poem. This was the poem. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching this video.